Orbis International is a nonprofit NGO that goes around the world treating avoidable blindness. We're exclusively focused on preserving eye health for children, for families, and communities. So the vast majority of the world's vision loss can be prevented or cured. And 90% of that is in low to middle income countries. And it sets up this vicious cycle of poverty and blindness, which Orbis can come in and in a 10 or 20 minute surgery, turn that into a virtuous cycle, getting someone out of the home, back into the workplace, back to school. If someone is completely blind, where they don't even see a light being shined into their eyes, that is total blindness or no light perception. When is someone considered legally blind versus someone who is con considered blind? Legal blindness is when they really can't see that big E on the chart. Their vision and their better seeing eye is 2200, which means that a normal person with good sight sees something at 200 feet, but this person needs to come to 20 feet to be able to see the same image. So legal blindness is something very real. You could imagine if you couldn't see that big E on the chart, you can't drive a car, you can't work at a computer. Talk to us about uh, some of those infectious diseases that cause blindness. You mentioned trachoma, um, yes, river blindness or cosakiasis yes. is one of them. And, and yes, the, the incidence of such diseases in a low and middle income country and how much of a burden it is. So, yes, that's what I've spent my life trying to answer. Um, the good news is all of those diseases are coming down. We're getting better at recognizing, treating, educating, and distributing the treatments. Examples of avoidable blindness, river blindness, and trachoma. My goal is before I die to see both of those diseases off the face of the earth. Some people in a lot of the places where we work think that it's a natural part of aging. It is not. So one of the things is awareness and education. Two is access. How far do they live to an eye clinic? What is their understanding and trust and what are the results from that eye clinic? What are the costs and do they have the technologies to treat? And so Orbis works on all of those to build awareness, to build education, to build quality results and to install and deliver the best technologies in the communities where it's sustainable. So Dr. Hunter, at <clears throat> what point should someone who is experiencing vision loss gradually be concerned about completely losing their sight? If you are experiencing any vision loss, you should see an eye health professional. Even if you have normal or perfect vision and no vision complaints, you should have regular eye exams, especially if you have diabetes, a family history of blindness, or trauma to the eye. So one of the things I tell people, don't wait till you start experiencing vision loss. I have a question about glasses. It seems like yes, uh, some people have complained about the fact that when they started to lose their vision and they started to wear glasses, their vision became worse. Is there such a thing as glasses weakening someone's vision? So no, it's not that if you start wearing glasses, you get weaker and weaker. It's that the eye continues to have this problem with of myopia. So you're treating it. Uh, and so one of the things I tell everyone is don't not wear your glasses because you're worried that your eyes are going to get weak. It's not like your eyes are muscles that you take to the gym. And if you stop working out, they get weaker. Children, if they experience vision loss, if they don't get the fully developed pathways for vision, even later in life, they may never get full vision. What sorts of impact have you seen, have you made on the ground in this mission to reverse the incidence of avoidable blindness in lower income countries, particularly in Africa? Right now, today, we are doing the first ever clinical trial for artificial intelligence in the country of Rwanda. Even in rural areas of uh, Rwanda, we're able to give the highest level of artificial intelligence care that you'd have in New York City, London, Tokyo. It's amazing how exciting the world has been connected. People don't realize women are disproportionately affected with avoidable blindness. And women, especially the care providers with children, are at higher risk of trachoma. And we know that if you take out the mother, the child, that's a huge burden. So for us, we really focus on gender. We're focused on human resource development and the technology. And if you were to leave us with some tips to take better care of our eyes on a daily basis, what would you say a couple of steps? An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. 
wearing sunglasses, not only to from the UV light, but also in case there's you know a trauma or an accident. I, I can tell you, I go all around the world and I meet with diabetic patients and they say, no one told me about my eyes. Being educated, regular eye checks, especially if you have a family history of glaucoma or blindness, or you yourself are a diabetic.